What is up everyone? This is Sorkin090 and this is gonna be Operation Blackout episode 33, the 33rd episode of the Operation Blackout series. A series from our friends and I we're gonna be encasing the entire world in obsidian blocks to block out the sun. We're gonna be collecting a lot of obsidian for this episode, so hopefully we get a lot of stacks done. If not, then I could always work on it off camera because that's usually the point, anyways. And as well as that, for those who are new to the channel or new to the series, that Operation Blackout is gonna require at least 1.5 million. One million five hundred thousand blocks of obsidian and for us to obtain that is that we're gonna have to farm the end that we kill off the ender dragon we loot the end city come right back mine up all eight obsidian towers and then rinse and repeat that we're gonna eventually you will hopefully throughout the future episodes that you'll see the map be covered up with more and more black lines throughout the entire map from the east side all the way down to the west side because the sun rises in the east and sets in the west so it's actually gonna be be pretty symbolic in that nature that eventually we will no longer see the sunrise we will always see the sun setting and then eventually then that's going to be blocked off as well so that is what i mean by that all I can say is that it's going to take a while, so hopefully the summer break that's happening right now is going to give us a lot of time to actually work on this. And I know that I've been not really doing so much work because of work scheduling and as well as other videos that I've been trying to make, especially with PewDiePie Tube Simulator, which is absolutely doing so fantastic for the channel that I am very, very happy that Outer Minds is supporting the videos as well. And that's really helping me out too. And from the people who are from PewDiePie Tube Simulator, they're actually watching my videos as well. So it all pretty much helps out especially for the series i've been working on for a very very great time very long great time either way let's move on to some of the topics at hand that one of them of course would be that vidcon is coming up for next week and the countdown begins seven more days until vidcon eventually well yeah eventually and officially starts and i cannot wait for that i cannot wait for the event that is gonna allow me to meet new people and as well as see what else is going on i know that e3 happened as well then you had twitchcon but i can't afford those two events or to go to those two events so the one i'm able to afford and as well as relate to would be vidcon mostly because youtubers you know that's the deal any case that it's gonna happen i'm gonna meet a lot of other creators because i got four meet and greet lotto wins for one that is matthew centauro one for jacks films one for tom scott and one for vsauce so that's a great variety especially when i watch a lot of the channels as well so I'll be able to meet up with them, get a picture, and possibly ask a question here and there. And then, of course, I got the creator track where I'm able to go to other events to learn more about YouTube and to learn how to grow my channel or do some more content. So what I want to take from that is that I really hope to learn something as well as to make new friends and also hopefully, just hopefully, make a collaboration with one or two people if I do get the opportunity to do so. I just cannot wait for that. All I can say is that I'm very, very happy and very excited because at least I'll be able to ask some questions to some of my favorite creators and as well as that, I'm going to ask the one question to Jack's films. So we're just going to have to wait until that happens because I want to get a live reaction to the question. So that is going to be a thing. So another topic to discuss is whenever I'm actually going to be making the... Well, the question and answer videos is that I have an idea that I will live stream playing a video game, no commentary, no microphone, no chat, just pure gameplay. I'm just gonna live stream it. Why? Because why not just entertain people with me just playing a video game? Have it be running in the background. So that could be a thing. You could get involved talking with people in the chat and as well as that, I at least will have another video out. I don't know if I'll be able to monetize it, but it would still be a video for you to enjoy and I'm providing content that you know that I'm actually active on the platform. Because who knows, maybe I'll actually gain an audience from that just for not having having any commentary no mic no chat just pure gameplay of me playing a game from beginning to end and then from there i'll take that recording and that's going to be the background play or what people would call a b-roll for just having a gameplay and then i'll do a voiceover or a commentary on top of that making the questions and answers from there so that could be a thing that i could play more than one game i could just do some snippets here and there and then i have footage to actually use then i'll answer people's questions so the more questions i answer the more footage i could actually use and then i could produce more videos that way now 
that that's going to be the idea. I want to know from you guys, what do you think about that? Would you actually stop by the live stream just to look at the gameplay? No commentary, no chat on the screen, just pure gameplay for you to watch. Will you actually go ahead and watch those, depending on what game I'm playing, because I can understand some games you may like, some games that you don't like. Wait, did I say that correctly the first time? Some games you may like, okay, hopefully I did say it right the first time, but then the other games you may not like, you may skip over it, so it doesn't really hurt me, it won't hurt you, but just as long as that I'm producing some content for you to watch, then that's going to be a thing. If you have any questions to ask me, then I'll link the video for the end screen annotations. So just wait till the end to click on that video to send the questions there because I'll only take questions on that video. And then from then on forth, the questions on the, the specific videos that I post on from then on forth. Because I want to know that people will be there just for the content of me answering questions and not just for the pure gameplay itself. I'll probably start off small. Maybe I'll start off with Banjo-Kazooie. Why not? It'll be fun to play that game, and as well as it'll be easy for me to get from the beginning to the end, and see how fast I can actually get it without any mistakes, because I know that I do a lot of mistakes during live streams, and then when I'm not worrying about making a commentary, I do absolutely better, for whatever reason. It's just one of those things as well. Here, I just go ahead and just mine straight down so I don't have to focus too much on the gameplay, just focusing on the commentary, so it works both ways as well. And sadly, for a third topic, I nearly missed out on making this recording because there was a powder outage. Yeah, a powder? No, power. I cannot talk correctly. A power outage that lasted for a good hour. Everything was dark, we had the candles lit up, and then we just sat there in the living room and just talked to each other and wait. Just like the simple old days that technology wasn't all over the place and we just sat down and talked to each other even though I don't remember any of that because that only happened because of the power outage. But I digress. It was pretty interesting. We were just driving on home and then all of a sudden that a portion of the lights came out. And then all of a sudden all the lights came out. From the street lights to the neighborhood. Is that the quadrant was out for a little bit of a while. But after that, nothing much happened. Just, it only took an hour before the power went back on. It was just kind of interesting. It was kind of funny. I messaged my friend saying that, well, the power's out. He asks back, like, then how are you responding or how are you talking to me? And then I made a smart Alec remark saying, you have heard of an invention called smartphone, right? Yeah. People forget that smartphones are a thing. Gotta love that data plan too. But yeah, that was kind of interesting because I thought that I was not going to be able to make the video on time because the last time we had a power outage, it actually lasted overnight. So I wasn't able to make a video on that day. It was kind of delayed to another day. But thankfully, the power is out. And this is where you're watching the video right now. I'm able to make the recording just before I am going to work. Well, in timeline, I'm making the video before I have to actually go to work in the morning. So by the time you see this video, I'm already at work. That's how it works. So another topic would be to talk about the whole thing about E3 and Minecraft receiving a major update. For those who do not know that there's going to be cross-platforming for all the consoles except for the Wii U and PS4 as far as I'm concerned and as far as, far as I know because you know Sony I guess because Sony didn't want to go on board with that platform, pun intended. But Overall, that you have the VR, you got yourself the Pocket Edition, you got the PC, I think. I think the PC, you know, Windows 10, my mistake, Windows 10 version of Minecraft. And also all the consoles of good old Xbox that they're all going to be having a platform crossover where you could actually play with each other onto a server and I'm pretty sure onto a world itself. If you have a different console, it would not even matter. The 360 could play with the Xbox One and then of course if you get the Xbox One S or the Xbox One X, then you'll be able to play. And also they are going to be able to release a brand new shaders pack. They call it the Super Duper Graphics Pack, but it's a shaders pack. We all know it's a shaders pack, but they don't want to call it that. Maybe because of, I don't know, what what would be the legal reason for that? Is that all I know is that it's going to exist. It's the shaders pack, and then everybody's going to enjoy just looking at everything. With the shaders, with the lighting, and the high definition graphics. I'm pretty sure it's also going to be on the regular Xbox One. But it becomes free if you actually get the Xbox One X. Which is kind of confusing to call it. People are just referring down to... To the Xbox. Not even the original Xbox is called the Xbox anymore. The Xbox One X is now called the Xbox. Or we could call it the Xbox Double X.
or double Xbox. I don't even know what it's called. So many memes are going around saying that there's a 360, then you got the Expo, and now you got the Xbox. So it's just so weird. I think the first Xbox was called the XB before they made the Xbox 360, which is the 360 now, and then they got the Xbox One, which is X Expo, and now they're back down to the Xbox. It went full circle on that one. I think that's what the meme was about. But I digress that it's going to be $500 just for that Xbox One X. And I am tempted to actually get it. Because it's going to be at the end of the year and possibly I'll be able to make enough money from the channel to be able to afford that. I'm trying to base all of my well purchases based on how much I make on the channel per monthly. So by November, I should be able to save up enough just to buy the Xbox One X. So... We're just going to have to wait and see. Hopefully my channel grows. You could help it by leaving a like on this video and subscribing. But I'll wait till the end before I actually announce that too. So <laughs> sneak that in right there. But in any case, that is going to be a wild ride to see a lot of games coming out for the Xbox One X. And especially when it's going to be com like backwards compatible as well. So it's just every upgrade upgrade for this, a lot of games are gonna happen probably through a patch or something along the matter of that but all i know is that a lot of people are thinking that the minecraft community is actually going to be back on track again because of course that one of the major updates is that we will have servers for the console just think of it as mini game servers that you know on pc now it's going to be onto the xbox which is going to be fantastic because that's going to be even more content for me to actually make i don't even have to go on pc for that i can just stay on the xbox to play that and who knows if i'm going to live stream that then you guys could actually join me on those type of servers as well so more content for everybody but we're just gonna have to wait and see how well it all plays out because it could be glitchy when it comes out but then once it more and more patches happen then it should be better so that is pretty much all i gotta say that vidcon is happening in a week i cannot wait i cannot wait to meet the creators i cannot wait to hopefully make a new friend and as well as to make a collaboration or just have a great time that's what's more important than anything else so hopefully everything would go well at vidcon and then that we have had a power outage that was pretty interesting just to experience that all over again for about a good hour and then of course that uh, i'm thinking of making just gameplay live streams so that i could have some footage to make my questions answered videos so if you want to ask me any questions the video will be linked at the end of the video so you can ask me questions on that specific video it could be anything just real life it could be this or that it could be what would you do in this scenario just any questions that you want to ask me go ahead and leave me a question on that video that i will link It'll be called Ask Me Questions. So that will be a thing. And then, of course, that Xbox is going to get a major upgrade. And Minecraft is going to come back full swing when it comes November. So that is going to be an interesting update to discuss and to go about. And I possibly will buy an Xbox One X to celebrate everything. Just as long as I make enough money from YouTube. But without anything else to say, I'm going to end off this video once I hit the platform. I just want to go ahead and say thank you to Baby Luna, Steve, or Mr. Inflammable. Then we have Flats, Flounder. So I want to thank all of them for helping me out thus far in Operation Blackout for the week. And I want to thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for all the support you have given me. Whether you're from PewDiePie Tube Simulator or if you're from the Minecraft videos or possibly from the Let's Play videos I've done way back when. So I want to thank you guys for all the support and that you're continuing to watch my videos and any updates that I have for the channel or for the series that I'm doing right now. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you're brand new to the channel, then please subscribe. Please leave comments down of what you thought about this episode and the things I have talked about. I read all the comments. But until then, have a great day everyone. I am SodaKing090 and then as always, I'll see you guys next time in a new video or live stream.